hello and welcome back to another video i hope you are all doing well it feels like such a long time since i last picked up the camera and i think it has been well over a week since i have but we've had so much going on i mean we were both away at the weekend and all the housework has just seemed to come to a halt although today is thursday and at the start of the week sam was able to get a couple of bits done in the ensuite which i can show you um but i just didn't pick up the camera when he did those bits because i was working in the gym so yeah just thought i'd give you an update which is a regular thing in this bedroom nothing else has happened since i last picked up the camera um in the previous video you would have seen the blind and the radiator in here and then there has been a bit more progress in here since then so we've managed to get the blind put up in this room and the radiator is on the wall as well so this is the largest radiator that we've got um in each of the rooms and I absolutely love it. It's so beautiful and um, the exact same as the others but obviously because this is the largest room it is slightly bigger and on the Just Radiators website, I think it's called Just Radiators, I'll tag it in the description anyway, um, you can put the size of your room in and it will tell you the size of the radiator that you need so that is definitely very handy to know and then with regards to the blind this is the colour we've decided to go for it is quite similar to the wall colour um, so it does blend in a little bit but I do really like it and it will just go with the theme of the room anyway and then in the ensuite, I think I actually left it at um taking all the stuff out of here so there has been a bit more progress sam has managed to get the radiator on the wall the cabinet is also up and i didn't realize it's got lights on both sides as opposed to just the one and then inside the cabinet there's a sort of a shaver point and a light to switch it on and off which doesn't work at the moment because we're still waiting for Alex our electrician to come over to get that all sorted um, and then on this side Sam has fitted the shower glass door um, and he's also put the fixings on here and at the top here he's popped the shower arm in ready for the shower head to go on and ready for him to connect everything else up this is still yet to be sorted in here um but there is quite a lot of progress so oh gosh i'm super happy with that um i think tomorrow sam's plan of action is to try and get all of the plumbing work set and ready he's also picking up the tiles um ready to lay them in here and i haven't actually showed you the color of the vanity unit so this is the colour that we've gone for, although we've had a bit of a dilemma with the tap. Because the hole is sat further back it, and the wall is pretty much here, we've had to change the tap that we originally ordered. So, um, see if I can find it and get it out. Yeah, so originally, sorry I've just got one hand here, bear with me one second. Sorry, yeah, this is the tap that we originally ordered for the basin, but... Um, we weren't actually told where the hole would be and I thought it was going to be in the middle which would have sat nicely on here but as the hole is situated at the back it hits onto the wall and it's too tight um, to be able to fit it on so we've had to order a smaller tap to actually go onto this um, basin. There's always something that has to go wrong. Um, and then in here is the system, which we haven't obviously taken out yet. Um, but yeah, so we're just having that changed for, I think it's just one tap that you can rotate round um, as opposed to this. So this will have to go back. But there are always things that need to be changed and adjusted. So I think we've, we've pretty much got used to that now. Um, over the weekend, I'm gonna try and start the upcycle of the second lot of drawers because I still have not done that yet. And I'm panicking now because things are starting to come together a little bit more. I really need to get that done 
before we end up having the carpets fitted in here. So I'm gonna dedicate a bit of time, potentially Saturday afternoon and Sunday as well. I know Sam's golfing Sunday morning, so I really need to get that sorted. So it's done and out of the way. We have actually got our mattress being delivered the upcoming Monday, which will just pretty much stay in its box until um, the bedroom's ready, but I can pretty much order the bed and the mirror and everything else now so it feels like it's all systems go and with regards to the radiators they're all going to get plumbed in fingers crossed this weekend so Sam just needs to drain all the water out and um I was going to say drill holes then he needs to get underneath the floorboard floorboard I don't really know what you call this that's on the floor I'm not an expert but he needs to get to the pipes basically so he can connect all of that up but it's just typical now that the weather's warming up we don't obviously need the radiators on as much so um we kind of needed this to happen a little while ago but hey ho never works out that way we finally got working radiators sam has done all of the pipe work plumbed everything in in here and then in the bedroom he has done the exact same thing oh stubbed me toe <laughs> um same thing in here plumbed it in the only thing we've got to do is just get some caps to cover the pipes and then in the ensuite today sam has cut all the tiles ready to stick down in here um pipes again he's plumbed all that in and we just need to get that covered up and with regards to this it's just a case of lifting them up now and sticking them down ready to do the grout everything else in here is pretty much the same bit of a mess in here um, but Sam has actually done the shower um, pipes as well so that is all in working order now so yeah it seems to be quite a lot of progress that has happened over the past couple of days. Today is Saturday and we are gonna have a barbecue. The sun is shining, it looks so lovely and seeing as the weather is nice, we're gonna enjoy some lovely food. So Sam's got a prony outside and I've got myself a non-alcoholic beer. So cheers. Um, if I take you on outside, what we have done is chopped a lot of the Budlia tree down. Sam made an impulsive decision on Tuesday to do that. And to be fair, it's just brightened up this top bit of the garden so much. Um, I mean, we've not chopped it down to the root because um, I have been told it can grow back as a bit more of a bush. So we will see, but for now it's just chopped like this. And hopefully this grass area here will actually start to grow because um, obviously it was quite a lot of shadow that was on the grass. I don't know what I'm talking about, but yeah. Sam is just about to jet wash the barbecue and I have killed off the Christmas tree and this other plant here. So I don't actually know how to revive that, if it's even revivable. So please do let me know on any tips on how I can revive that. Otherwise it's going in the skip. And this over here has bloomed so much. Absolutely love it. garden has been mowed now and it looks so much better I swear week on week it just grows double the amount um, but the best thing is Sam has set up the egg chair now we haven't actually had this um, out yet we bought it last year um, so we didn't even have it in our previous house either so it's the first time it's fully out and I absolutely love it Sam has also put the 
cushions on the table and on the table not on the table on the chairs the only ones he hasn't put on are these two here but we've not got any guests over for a barbecue today so we're just keeping it at these and we've heightened the table heightened i don't know if that's the correct word but um we have brought it up higher because it's a perfect height for barbecuing and then i'm sure later on when we're just chilling out we will lower that back down again um, and then over here the barbecue is all set up and ready so I absolutely can't wait to get this on and started. to ignore the state of me and the fact that I have literally got myself wrapped in this fluffy hoodie. You would think that it's freezing cold but the temperature outside is very warm but in this house it's just so much colder. I think it's kind of getting to that time of year now where the radiators aren't really on that much and outside is actually warmer than in. Um, but anyway, we have actually got the radiators all on now. I think I have showed that in one of the previous clips. I do apologise, this video is like here, there and everywhere with everything that we've got going on. Um, but the house is so much warmer. It's so lovely to have those all sort of plumbed in now. And Sam managed to get the tiles on the bathroom floor done last night. Now I am itching to get it grouted, but with my back, I'm actually not allowed to be bending down and doing things like that. I'm seeing a spinal specialist tomorrow. So fingers crossed they can give me the go ahead and the green light on certain things that I can do because I know things like gardening and um, any movements that requires me to bend down um, is not so great. So yeah, it's <laughs> put a bit of a dampener on me being able to do a lot of like the home renovation and stuff. Um, and I know I mentioned that I was going to start upcycling the drawers, but I haven't got around to doing that yet. And I think it's probably wise I just take it a little bit easy when I do come to do that because with regards to like the painting and stuff I do have to come down and up. But anyway I'll stop rambling on about that now because it'll probably be boring you. But we have finally got the carpet um, guys booked in to come and fit the carpets on the 15th of June. So not long away now really um we said that we wanted to get everything done by the end of may and we are still on schedule for that i would say um obviously the last thing will be the carpets we do have our electrician coming in on monday so today is tuesday um and yeah so just under a week and he'll be able to come and fit all of the sockets um, the light switch and the actual fixings as well so that will feel like so much progress in that respect um, so we're just kind of busy trying to get stuff done ready for the 15th of June so once the carpets are laid everything can literally be put into the rooms and styled which I absolutely cannot wait for um, and yeah we'll be able to be moved into that room and it is actually Sam's birthday on the 15th of June so I'm sure he'll look forward to having the carpets laid on his birthday um, so he can at least enjoy that. But I did mention to him about um, potentially setting the bed up if we have it delivered before the 15th and he was like I do not want to be setting up a bed on my birthday thank you so we will see when it comes to it what he decides that he wants to do on his birthday um but yeah i'll take you on through into the ensuite i mean there hasn't been that much progress um since i last updated you but in here the tiles have been done although they look like a different color to the wall i don't know whether you can tell from the camera or not um but sam said he did put an off cut up against the wall and it is pretty much the same it's just that because we've ordered this and had it delivered only not that long ago it's obviously a different batch so it does look slightly different but 
I think it still looks nice um, either way. So yeah, that's pretty much everything that I've got to update you on um, with regards to where we're at at the moment. I think I will end this video here um, and start a new one ready tomorrow um, because we've seemed to have got to that point where there's not really a lot that's going to be going on this evening, I don't think. Um, apart from potentially getting the ceiling painted in the en suite. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much everything. Sorry, the camera went out of focus there, but the skip guys have just turned up to take the skip away. It's been on the drive for that long that they've called up and been like, um, can we have our skip back please? Because we kind of need it. So that's how long we've had it on the drive. So it'd be nice to see that gone. So we've got a bit more of a clear drive until Sam decides that he wants to order another one. But we have had that on there for quite some time now and it's taken this long to fill it. So it'd be nice to have a bit more room on the drive so we can actually park a couple more cars on there when we have visitors. And progress seems to be happening so much quicker now. So I do apologize for all the rambling and the quick talking that I've been doing. I'm just so excited to get these rooms finally done. Um, and with the nice weather that we've been having recently, it's just put me in such a better mood. It's unbelievable the difference it makes and the barbecue that we had the other day which you would have just seen um was so lovely it was our first one of the year and generally when we have barbecues we like kind of have a couple of people over but we just decided it would just be us two so it's kind of a bit like a date night and it was just so so nice just to be able to just kind of sit outside have the furniture cushions out and just to kind of relax so yeah it was really really lovely over this next week it's kind of a case of getting the last final touches pretty much done. Um, I think obviously with the electrician coming to do his part, that will be such big progress in itself. Um, and obviously with the cupboard, um, that won't take too long to do either. So it's just ordering those little bits that you kind of forget about. So we've got to order like a wardrobe rail to go inside the cupboard and um, I've got to order like a shoe rack to um, put my heels and stuff on, which I don't wear often, but they'll end up be being kept upstairs and out of the way of the day-to-day -day shoes, which will stay downstairs. But yeah, I'm doing it again. I'm rambling. So I'll end this video here.